where you ask, we answer. Wow, welcome back. Now, this is the quench and we are discussing matters single parenting. And somebody asked a question kabla to to end for the short break. Akasema katika Biblia ya kwamba hakuna mahali single parenting imetajwa. Lakini widows and uh, orphans wametajwa. In actual sense I think Mungu anasema ya kwamba is uh, the husband to the widows and the father to the fatherless. Now, does the fatherless mean while was single parent ama does the fatherless mean the orphans. Now, as you tackle that, we'll be getting the mic to that gentleman so that uh, he, get, he asks the question. Let's first respond to that. Okay. Uh, this is an issue of grammar. Single parenting. So, a parent who is single. Uh-huh. So, a parent who is single can be a widow or a widower. So, there are many reasons so that occasion yeah. to the so, single So, it's just grammar because if, if we are two of us, if we are two parents, if we are raising a child, two of us, yes. we are two parenting, two parents. Yes. So, this, if it is one of them, yes. so it's single parenting. Uh-huh. So, no, you know, the Bible has not mentioned or any, everything, but uh, we can see everything in the Bible. Mm-hmm. Though, though it is not mentioned directly, a widow is a single parent. A widow is a single parent. Mm-hmm. Yeah. All right. Wow. Uh, I think he, he talked about yes. a widow, isn't it? Uh-huh. And a single parent. That's the difference he wanted to know. A widow uh-huh. and a single parent. So a widow whose, pass, whose husband or wife has died yes. and uh-huh. a single parent here to mean uh-huh. a person who was never married uh-huh. but they have That's children. The and they have children. Yes. Ama, somebody who has adapted, you can still adapt uh-huh. and you bring up the child alone. Yes. That is adapted the single parenthood. Yes. So what the Bible talks about, actually it doesn't talk about uh, the, the, uh, the singles. Mm-hmm. It talks about married people or the widows. Why? Because from Genesis, the beginning, yes. 2.18, it is not good mm-hmm. for one to stay alone. Mm-hmm. So unless it happens along the journey of your life, and if it happened, uh, the Bible also talks about no widow who is below 60 yes. years. So it means if somebody, your husband dies when you are below 60 years, you have freedom to get married or even to marry. That's simply what the Bible is saying. Oh. Because one, you need a companion. Uh-huh. And especially when you are aging, even when you are aging, even when you are, when you are young. So you need a companion. Mm-hmm. There are many reasons why you get married. Eh? We need what we call, uh, what we call this one. Uh, so you you need <laughs> you need that a companion com- in your life, and you also need that communion, and that communion in yes. your life that is created by God, uh-huh. for procreation yes. and for pressure, isn't it? Yes. So this one God looks at this uh, fairly because when you, when your husband dies and you are still very young, utasubua umewa wenyewe. And there are the people who are running after wanaume wa today. Mm-hmm. So why don't you look for a good young man or old man and get married to avoid all these problems that you are having? Uh-huh. So that also loneliness when you age will no longer be there in your life. Uh, wow. Very well put, right? Now we, we have a we have a question here. Mm-hmm. Yes. My name is Shupavu. I have two questions. Number one. Uh angalia watoto wengine mfano mtoto anaweza kuzaliwa kwa njia ya ubahaba mtoto akose ni vizuri huyo mtoto kuuliza mama yake atakapokuwa mkubwa juu ndio kama watu kuna dose hizi ari ya moja alizipata mahali ya kibao wakati mama yake tumia mama yana pia kutia uh, mama alipopashwa alipo habari kuwa kijana wake amepatikana nasema afanyie mtoto atakachotaka kijana alikatwa mkono mkono ukaanza mkono ukawa mlegevu ah uh, je mama kama huyo hajali na ni single mother hajali na kijana wake wengine wako hivyo tu ni walevi. Mama kama huyo kwa kijiji tutamsaidiaje? Naomba tusaidie. <laughs> Hapo <laughs> those are two tough one. One is a child of the Bible calls it a child of Holdom, eh? Mm-hmm. It's like the children of Hosea mm-hmm. where the, the the mother may not even be able to tell 
ya kwamba baba ya huyu mtoto mimi najua ni fulani. Mm. Yaani hata mama hana klu. Ya? Yeah? Yeye yeah, anajua yeah, alikuwa yeye yeah, ni wa kutembea tembea anaenda you know ako biashara and then at, all of a sudden one time anakuta aya niko two months pregnant. Mm. So hizi akasema baba ni nani? Mm. Now and then kuna mwingine mzazi hajali. Mm. Maybe out of depression ama ni ma- maisha anaona tu yani hana hope ya life anasema huyu mkitaka kuua. Wewe ni tu mimi hata sina issue. How can we help such people? Hallelujah. <laughs> Me I think uh, what you are supposed to make this mama understand is ya kwamba life is sacred. That child is innocent. Irrespective the vehicle that was used to bring this child to this world. As far as God is concerned, this life is good. This life should be honored. This life should be brought up the way it's supposed to. So kando na father ya huyu mtoto. Mama anastahili kuambiwa ya kwamba a divorce eh? the uh, i mean uh, divorce these two statement eh? these two issues ya kwamba pengine kuna kimutu kifurani ambao hakipedi sahi ambao kilileta huyu mtoto in the wild mm-hmm. a focus on this child aroni mm-hmm. because most of the time especially when you hate the father of the child what you shall happen so anatadika huyu mtoto sana mm-hmm. maana they see this man in inside this mtoto and this is so ungodly na ikiwa this mama cannot bring up this child si ampeleke kwa children's home mm-hmm. ama apee mtu mwingine ambaye hana mtoto badala ku make the child suffer and the child is so innocent mm-hmm. maana tunasema kuna vitu vingine huwezi kaamua huwezi kaamua who will be your mother who will be your father it's true so you are only brought up through a certain mother or father but we never made any choice we can only choose who we will marry or who we will get married to but not will bring us into this world so i if i see her, take care of the child if she can't i make sure she gives this child to another person so i, I think also monene what i would like also to add yes. ni kwamba uh, nipoa kama kama ni mamako na kabisa unasikia uh, ukimuuliza hataki kuambia babako ni nani unaweza wacha kushinda hata ukiinsist sana unajua wacha kushinda ukiinsist sana Uh, si anakulea na amekubali ku carry all the pain because yes. nakuta wengine kabisa hawezi taka kukuambia hata wengine mm. uh, in, in, it is a, in a very bad scenario mm. na kama wewe umejipata wewe ni mtoto uko pale nje umejipata hata mamako hawezi ku identify uh, baba ni nani the fact remain we hauna tofauti na watoto wenye wako na baba na baba na mama kwa sababu nyinyi wote mlizaliwa mm-hmm. nyinyi wote mlizaliwa bila nasema in the book of jeremiah kabla haujaumbika katika tumbo ya mamako mm-hmm. na likujua mm-hmm. kwa hivyo mungu alikujua kabla hujaumbika katika tumbo ya mamako na hiyo ndiyo njia ambayo mungu uh, in, in, in his own way ama kwa njia yote ile ambayo ilitumika ulikuja katika hii dunia so wewe ni mtoto na wewe unaweza kufanyika kile ambacho Mungu alipanga ukawe. Usitumie hiyo kama uh, weakness. Tumeona watoto kama hao ambao wamekuja wameinuka, walizaliwa in scenarios ambazo ziwezi kueleweka and today they are great people. Mm-hmm. They have a great name in the in the world. So mm-hmm. you excuse ya kukuonyesha kwamba sasa wewe wewe ni legitimate na uwezi kuwa anything. Mm-hmm. So long as unapumua na wewe ni mtoto kama ule mwingine simama and uh, uh, walk through hizo hiyo challenge ambazo, ambazo ulizaliwa ndani yake na ujua kwamba you are a, a child like any other child, child. wow yeah. wow wow now na, na, i see already a hand iko huko nyuma moja and then there is another one here where the naona kuna zingine mbili hapa so able to to part of those two questions ama concerns and uh, we are talking about single parenting mm-hmm. but according to me i'm married but what i know and what i've seen there are people who are married but it's like they are single in marriage. Mm-hmm. So, my question is that person who is there in marriage, but yet they feel they are single yet they are in marriage. So to them marriage the word marriage is just the name and the, the appearance that they are staying with that person. How can you help that person? For example, nowadays tunasemanga we say it in Kikuyu that women wamekuwa na shughuli sana kuliko wanaume it's like the women are working extra hard because you'll find in those marriages you find a man has relaxed now the woman is taking care of everything 
and you'll find that maybe such kind of a woman is stressed up because the man is there she's seeing the man but he cannot help how can you help or advise such kind of a, a person either a woman or a man who is in marriage but in the real sense it's like they are single in marriage so it's like it's a dysfunctional fa- uh, marriage yeah all right so you just there and uh, Uh, you are just two colleagues eh <laughs> bila amesema kama wazazi wako pamoja lakini mmoja ndiye anagaramikia kila kitu kama wanalea watoto peke yake mama ni mlevi ama baba anafanya kazi na asaidi chochote so nimetaka kujua vile mama anaweza saidiwa ndio wakuwe pamoja wasaidiane vile wanaweza lea So that that means even if they never they never come together to live as a family but they have a uh, unified effort when it comes to bring up the child. So ni baba achukue majukumu ama mama achukue majukumu hata kama hawakai pamoja. So how they how that can be brought about? Okay, now there are those two issues maybe as we pass the the mic to ipate pale nyuma but then we could be responding to uh, to, to those two. So kuna hiyo ya kwanza a dysfunctional marriage. Ya kwamba mtu amekaa pale ni ile wanasema ni kuvumilia. Mm, unasema uh, unakaa pale kiatu kinauma lakini because you have to walk. Unasema kiatu hautatupa lakini unasema I'm not comfortable in it. It's not functional. How can we help such a person? And then kuna hii mtoto wako lakini kuna huyu baba maybe ni mlevi hata maybe si mlevi ni mtu labda respectable sana tunamheshimu sana hapa town. Lakini yako na watoto hapa na pale na pale na wasichana wawili watatu wanne. Na watoto wote hakuna mwenye ana take care of. So how can they be compelled or can they can they really be compelled to take care of these children if they can? Okay. Um Munene, right now by the way especially in the 21st century mm. uh, such scenarios are very common. Mm. Unakuta kwamba uh, nowadays it's ni rare sana na ni rare sana ukuta kwamba both part is in a function vizuri utakuta marriage nyingi unakuta either the husband is very active the wife is not active the, the wife is very active the husband is not active so na kumekuwa na irresponsibility kwa juu sana especially on the on the boy boy child ni vizuri kusema hivyo sasa hii boy child uh, wame, wameanguka sana na Mungu atusaidie sana so um, in such kind of a scenario my sister hiyo kabisa uh, wezi compare sana na, na singlehood kwa sababu hata kama ni dysfunctional at least kuna ka father figure na mother figure hata kama si hawafanyi uh, hawa very much active so at least iwezi kuwa 100% uh, single parenting uh, but in such kind of a scenario ani vizuri kukaa na huyo mtu akiongeleshwa uh, watu wote mtu ajue responsibility yake ajue if you, if you are father uh, by the, the word father means source the word father if you are father just kwa hizi watu wengi ni father Uh, I don't want to use it that statement on the media but uh, ni father to for particular area lakini father means source provider nini so kama wewe ni baba be challenged ya kwamba you are supposed to take care of your family you are supposed to provide for your family 100% huyu uh, the lady she is just a helper a helpmate uh, ambaye amekuja kukusaidia and uh, you work together as a family so it's a challenge uh, ni, ni inakuwa ni mzigo kwa mtu mmoja mtu mmoja akiachiliwa it's a very heavy burden but we challenge everyone at least a take part kwa kwa kumekisha sure kwamba hiyo familia ana kuna kitu ambacho wanafanya huyu anajaribu kufanya hivi huyu anajaribu kufanya vile wanakutana katikati na hiyo ndoa inakuwa rahisi that's what i would like to say mm-hmm. yeah well uh, now I, i i i see that uh, I, i see there are some people that have more questions and more more concerns nilikuwa na hii swali ya kwamba yeah kuna wale watoto huwa wanaolewa kwa yani mama ako peke yake anaolewa kwa hiyo boma na mwanaume then wanafika mahali wale watoto walikuwa wakubwa kiasi so the kuna mambo kadhaa wanajua then wafike pale ule mama na yule mzee tena washikane waanze tena kufanya nini ku, ku get another kids so ifike mahali huu mzee aondoke issue ya ya kufika mahali sasa hawa watoto wengine nao wamekuwa wakubwa na hawa wamekuwa wakubwa then mzee akiondoka then mama aondoke inabaki the wamebaki kwa society wanaza that is brutal then inafika my uncle my uncles wanamwambia wanaambia watoto wenyewe wamekuja sasa nyinyi ambulongo kwa hii familia 
mm. kwa sababu nyinyi mliolewa huku huku hao watoto wanaweza saidiwa aje pia na wao in society ama in that family wakue recognize ama wapate pia urithi kwa hiyo familia right that's a, a tough one and in fact uh, this is not just happening in our society it also happened in the bible mm. yeah uh, is it jephtha yeah jephtha yeah the same case happened to jephtha jephtha alikuja na mama yake and then baadaye kaambia you don't belong here wewe toka wewe si wa baba yetu ondoka na uende and didn't he go alienda si ni kweli mm. aliambiwa ati squeeze wanasema ati ati kanyanga kubwa kubwa na na, na si ali, si alifanya hivyo <laughs> yeah but then the question is how can we help such people especially tasa mama hayupo so mama hawezi kumtetea sababu hayupo baba alishaondoka so hawezi kumtetea so these people are vulnerable how can we help them it was not the it's not a problem of the own making mm. yes unajua baba and it doesn't inafaa kufahamika hivyo you are supposed to honor kwa sababu ni babako aliwaleta watoto hawa wana shida by the way kwa sababu wamekuja hii duniani kama vile ambavyo wewe umekuja duniani so you are supposed to accept those children na watu kumekuwa na those cases unakuta kwamba hawa watoto wakati wazazi wamekufa hawagawiwi kitu but do a research go and do a research utakuta hawa watoto ambao wanakuwa rejected ndio wanakuwa very important na Mungu anawabariki sana like the case of Jephthah Jephthah alikuwa rejected na ndugu zake kwa sababu aliolewa uh, mama alikuja na yeye lakini walipomfukuza walienda kumtafuta sana walienda kumtafuta ndio akuja katika arudi tena kwa jamii ndio apiganie wana wa Israeli so what i would like to say huyo mtoto tafadhali don't musimu reject Mm. Baba yenu hakumreject alimleta na alimleta kwa hiyo nyuma na alizaliwa kwa hiyo nyumba unaweza kumreject siku moja ukute ndiye atakuwa wa msaada. Wow. Yeah. wow. That, I think that's a very wonderful mm. advice to people to, to, to fathers out there yeah. and to everybody else to out everybody, there. Yeah, yeah. Now uh, I would like you maybe in a minute to advise our generation mm-hmm. especially because mambo mengi ambayo tunazungumza about uh, single parenthood sio mambo mazuri kwa sababu i have not had us mention any really very positive thing about the, the, the outcome of such an up, upbringing ni kweli ya unasikia hapa kuna iko challenge hapa iko challenge hapa iko challenge hapa how can we how can we advise our young generation right now wenye kama sai especially hawajafanya maamuzi ya kuingia katika ndoa bado mm-hmm. ama hawajapata watoto bado how can we advise them do at least pale mwisho ama pale baadaye wasijikute wakiwa either single mothers wasijikute kama ni baba ambaye alipata watoto wakiwa haja kusudia anapata watoto na wadoto, anapata watoto na watoto wa shule eh watoto wana watoto wanaletwa kwake watoto wa shule wanaendelea na shule so anajikuta yeye amekuwa a single parent again so what, what can we advise our young people dio such issues waweze kuzi avoid in the future <laughs> yeah thank you uh mnene i think because you are talking to a christian generation yes. we may not talk to the people so much in the world but we are talking about the christian generation mm-hmm. so i think one thing is that you people we need to fear god we need to kumaanisha our salvation we need to uphold purity and holiness and avoid primarito sex let's avoid primarito sex because it is the one that bring forth all these problems that we are talking about and that it is the one that brings unexpected pregnancies early marriages and prepared marriages that later you stay for two months or so and then you separate because you are no longer emotionally together so you separate so why don't we live the way the bible says we clothe ourselves with the love of god with the holiness of god with the purity of god and then we shield hallelujah Amen, hallelujah Amen. 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 the young men and women in the house what, what are you supposed to do no no ngine wakifanya hiyo ni nini oh kuchill oh kuchill oh, all right well man of god yes, yes. The final comments of the same ah uh, final comments is exactly what mommy has said that uh, we are supposed please young men let us avoid premarital sex let's avoid it completely by the way i said i said na hailipi so it's not good so na wacha nikwambie if you cannot be able to control your body you cannot control anything else if but if you can be able to control your body self control a young man without self control is like a city without walls so if 
You cannot be able to control your body. My friend, it's very, very much dangerous. But if you can control your body, you can be able to control anything else. So please wait. Now, I like telling young men, wait right now. Preserve that energy. When you will say, I do, we will give you permission. Right now, chill. Sawa, sawa. Tafadhali. Sindio? Sayi. Kaktembea kwa njia za utakatifu. Ambia mtu sita weza. Mwambia with a capital no. I cannot. Please. And uh, sex is not, uh, it's not a manifestation of love. Si, mtu wakikwambia nitajuaje unanipenda. By the way, mtu wakikwambia you have it. Uo mtu wana kuchukia sana. Because anataka kukulid kwa single parenting. Sawa sawa. So please stay pure. And uh, Timothy advise, uh, Paul advised Timothy akamwambia when you are dealing with young sisters stay pure. As a young man stay pure. Na uki stay pure you will never regret. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Wow. 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 That is very well put. Very well put. In fact those people ambao ni vijana you know ambao wanaanza waki wanaenda waki practice this uh, it's called the illicit you know it's illicit yeah, sex illicit. yeah hakunanga mm. hakunanga trophy by the way for the same hakuna hata hakuna trophy hata hata mm. ukaenda ukiambia watu wenye umefanya mambo yeah. mengi yeah. uh, tunaweza tu kudharau kidogo mm. you know and then kuna kuna so many consequences that mm. you know they are all so manner many. of diseases so Kuna, yeah. mambo mingi tu si hizi vitu tuache Mm. Si tuache hizi vitu. Hata mm. sangalia usaini tena kwanza acha niangalie pande hii. Hiyo tumemaliza hiyo conversation. Now. Uh, Wewe tumemaliza hiyo. Sasa nauliza. This is in it on a lighter note. Hata yeah. tunanga mambo mingi. <laughs> This is just on a on, on a lighter note. Sasa uh, tuache na mambo ya single parenting. Nauliza. Maybe uh hiyo miaka when you Uh, when you are dating maybe unajua alia kuna wakati tulikuwa tunazungumza mambo ya love languages with this audience na tukasema one of them was gifts you can give, you know people can give some gifts yeah mtu anaweza kununulia diary and all that vitu kama hizo what one gift can you remember possibly the first gift that you either gave out or you received katika those katika courtship that time Okay, okay start unajua la, last time we yazo pale mimi sasa hata yazo pale hii. Okay, uh, the gift I can remember I, I gave her a Nokia 1100. Ile nyilikuwa na ka, ka kitu ke, ke, keusi. Uh-huh. Ukumbuka Nokia 1100? Yes. That is the gift I gave I gave her. Wow. Uh, those years around 206. If you know what that phone could do my friend that time we get request me aju. Thank you so very much. Yes. Unfortunately, our ears The way salvation was you could not receive gift from anybody those that years ago leave our own gift we not even start with somebody tukienda kuongea niende kwa uwaja mkae huko open ground eh only nothing else see at more in a profit place mpeane vitu salvation was as serious as that mutaweza hiyo hiyo maneno mta are you okay with that Let us give it up for our guests tonight. Wow, wow, wow. It is possible. Is it that possible? It is possible. Sidio, tunaweza tukakaa pure and for the glory of God. Thank you so very much for making this happen. Our guests, we are really honored to have you on set. Thank you so very much wonderful audience. Give it up for yourself. Wow, wow, wow. And also give it up for the guests at or rather the audience at home. Give it up for the audience at home. Amen. And also give it up for these wonderful people working behind the scenes yeah wow 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 thank you so very much for making this happen and until next time this is the quench my name is monene david see you next time the quench where you ask we answer